Baseline Dimensioning. Baseline dimensioning adds an additional dimension from a previous extension line or dimension. This type of dimensioning is typical of mechanical parts or can even be found in architectural designs. We can use baseline dimensioning to add dimensions that are referenced from a common point or to show the total length of a series of dimensions. We will continue using the same part that we've been using for the dimensions that we've learned so far, such as linear or aligned. You can also open up this part yourself by browsing to a new file and going to your chapter 9 of your project files and opening up practice dimensioning. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this for now. I've deleted all the previous dimensions that we've been working on so far. So right now I have no dimensions to start with. I'm going to go ahead and add a few dimensions before we learn how to add the baseline dimensions. I'm going to start the align dimension. I'll go ahead and press the spacebar to accept the select object as a default. I'll select this line and I'll go ahead and extend there. And as you see, so far I've placed a white dimension, which isn't what we wanted so far. I'm going to go ahead and make sure to select this object and I'll go ahead and delete it. Before we put the dimensions down, we need to make sure that we have a dimensions layer, which we don't have yet. So I'll go ahead and add that again really quick, just like I did in the previous tutorials. I'll call that dims, press enter, and select red as my color. I'll go ahead and close this out and make sure that I'm on the dimension layer. Again, I'll go ahead and activate the aligned, press the space bar, and add a dimension. I'll add a few more linear dimensions. One here, and one to the side here. activate that one more time and now I have it placed okay so we've already done this before but now let's learn how to do the baseline dimensioning well if we look at our tools and commands that we have here we don't see baseline and so in order to find that we have to come over to the annotate tab and in dimensioning we see here baseline by default you may have continue make sure to select baseline and now AutoCAD is asking us to specify a second extension line origin or undo select right now it's trying to continue to add another dimension from this point here I'm gonna go ahead and deselect that a few times reactivate the command and as you can see again it's trying to continue to do it from the last extension that I wanted to well maybe let's say that that is what we want so I'll go ahead and continue and select a second point and then I'll go ahead and hit escape to deselect from the command I'll highlight that dimension and pull it out just so we have some space to see. The spacing that we had was set up by our dimension style, which we haven't looked at just yet. But for now, we can go ahead and grab the grip and pull it out to the side. So what is it doing? Well, it's measuring both dimensions from the same dimension extension line right here. This is a distance of 12, and this is a distance of 21. Of course, there's a point, et cetera, et cetera, to each of these dimensions, but you get the overall idea. Let's go ahead and try and dimension something else. If I select the baseline again, I'm still continuing to try to dimension from the same line, but that's not exactly what I want to do. Well, in order to fix this, you can go ahead and right click and then choose select. And when we do that, we have the option to choose another dimension to start dimensioning from. Well, let's choose this line here. If I choose that, now I'm continuing to dimension from that line. I'll go ahead and select the point here and I can continue to select points as needed. I can maybe choose the center of this radius. I can choose this end point, And I can maybe again choose this point here, which is the same distance that's already measured. I'll go ahead and hit escape in order to exit from that command. And it's really cluttered here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these dimensions out. I'll maybe even move that one a little bit to the left as well. Hit escape. I'll go ahead and grab this dimension. I can even pull it to the side over here if I choose so. And there you go, I have one, two, three dimensions. But this doesn't seem to be very useful at all because we're measuring from this dimension here. Typically when we use the baseline dimension, we want to start from a very corner point or an origin and then dimension again and again and again from that same origin. Choosing a middle point isn't too helpful for us. So I'm going to go ahead and select all these dimensions, hit delete, and select this dimension on top and hit delete as well. 
I'll again choose the baseline dimension. Now I'm having to select the baseline dimension again. I'll pick this corner here and then I can go ahead and continue to dimension. Maybe this end point here, maybe this end point here, and finally this end point here. I'll go ahead and hit escape or right click and hit cancel to exit out of the command. Since we don't have a dimension style set up yet for the spacing of our lines, I'll go ahead and select these dimensions and drag them out myself and provide a little bit of spacing. I'll hit escape to deselect. And as you can see, the baseline dimension tool is very useful to get the dimensions of different points of your design all in accordance to a given origin or extension line from a previous dimension. You have to place one dimension first before you can start using the baseline command, otherwise it doesn't know what to continue dimensioning from.